This week's rule of the week comes to us from our friends on the pro team. So they've built a cage rule, which I think is pretty cool. It generates on top of a parcel a reference cage, and you specify how tall the cage is and how many times it's subdivided, and you can use it a reference as a reference when you're doing 3D editing to understand how big the objects that you're creating are. And you can customize this. You can change the color of the guidelines. You could change their thickness. You can add transparency uh, to change their appearance. But you also can get information about these guidelines, so they can be labeled. So you can pick which edge you're going to label, and then enable the uh, height information labeling on there, change the color of it, so now I can see at what meter heights these different lines are. And the cool thing is, is that those labels use texture, so they take advantage of back face coloring, so when they're not facing you, they're not visible. Um, it's not just height, so these lines may represent, for instance, floor values, so you may want to label them floors 1 through 6, or label them in reverse order, so there's a couple options there. This whole cage, this reference cage, you can give it a title, uh, and again, pick which side it's going to display on. So I'm going to make this display on the north side. I'm going to change the title name, so I'm going to call this Design Guide, because uh, I'm using it as a reference, and I'm going to reduce the size of the title here, so that it fits on there, and uh, faces us. So. I can also add in more guidelines on the interior of this area if I want to be able to uh, insert something in there and see a reference to the edges, right? I might actually want those guidelines to extend inside. So pretty cool, right? So I can throw a uh, building design in there and just by visually comparing I can kind of instantly get a sense of how tall these proposed buildings are uh, that are in this parcel. Now. The, the parcel cage is appropriate for that parcel scale, but uh, they also made a, a second rule, uh, which is called region cage, and that one actually is appropriate for uh, a much larger area. So if I zoom out here and look at this little area, right, I drop the cage around it. By default, it goes to 2,500 meters. I'm going to make it 500 meters, right, with 10 divisions, and that gives me kind of a reference for my whole study area here. So some pretty cool rules. Download them, take a look. They're great for just use as a reference on how big things are in a scene.